One of the best ways to make sure your guitar plays and sounds great is to regularly change its strings and give it a proper setup. How often you need new strings depends on how much they're played and on the guitar's environment. A string change and a setup are simple enough that they can be done from home. With the right knowledge, all you need are a few tools and a little time. Using the same gauge of strings as what's already on your guitar means less work during setup than when switching gauges. The tools needed are wire cutters, a Phillips head screwdriver for truss rod access, three different sized flathead screwdrivers for adjusting the pickups and intonation, the string action, and the height of the tailpiece. From your user kit, you will need the polishing cloth and truss rod wrench. You'll also need Allen wrenches in the sizes of two and one and a half millimeters. While adjusting the truss rod, a business card can be useful and you will also need a tuner. When removing the strings, it's best to change them one after the other to minimize the stress changes on the instrument. To show this process from the ground up, we're going to remove all the strings. Loosen each string before unlocking its trim lock and removing it from the machine head. After this, you can cut the string with wire cutters, making less to pull through the tailpiece and lowering the risk of scratching from the bent part of the string. You can place the polishing cloth behind the tailpiece to protect the finish while you're removing the strings. Insert the string through the back of the tailpiece and through the machine head. Pull the string tight and tighten the trim lock, making sure not to over tighten. Tune the string and cut away the excess. To improve your initial tuning stability, you can break in your strings a bit by pressing down just in front of and behind both the bridge and the nut. To check if your truss rod needs adjustment, press down simultaneously on the first and last frets. At the ninth fret, there should be a gap of between 0.1 and 0.3 millimeters, which is about the thickness of a business card. How you prefer string action has no effect on the spacing. If you need to adjust this, remove the truss rod cover with a Phillips head screwdriver and set the truss rod wrench into place. To bend the neck back and decrease the gap at the ninth fret, turn the truss rod to the right. Turning the truss rod to the left increases this gap. Always make adjustments using small increments and retune after each adjustment. Remember that it takes time for the neck to adjust completely. You'll need to check it after about an hour and once more on the following day to see if more adjustment is needed. Once the neck is set, you can adjust how high the strings rest above the frets. Although everyone has their own preference with string action, we set up guitars using an optimal string height of 1.7 millimeters for the top string and 1.5 millimeters for the bottom. An easy way to gauge this is by placing a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench between the string and the 12th fret, leaving a slight gap with the top string and none with the bottom. Before adjusting the action, you'll have to unlock both sides of the bridge with a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. For lower action, tighten the screw on the corresponding side of the bridge with a flathead screwdriver using gradual increments. To raise the action, turn the screw to the left. After retuning, you can see how this action works for you. After adjusting the string action, retighten the locking screws on the bridge and make sure the strings only come into contact with the bridge at the saddles. If the strings touch the back of the bridge, the tailpiece needs to be raised. To do this, first unlock the tailpiece as you did with the bridge. Then, with a flathead screwdriver that fits the screws, raise the tailpiece by turning the corresponding screw gradually to the left. After you're done, lock the tailpiece back into place and retune your guitar. Pickup height also varies according to personal preference. The closer a pickup is to the strings, the higher its output. This, however, reduces the stain. 
To get the best of both, we suggest a spacing of 2 millimeters. You can check this by placing a 2 millimeter Allen wrench on top of the pickup and pressing down on the last fret, doing so for both sides and for each pickup. Then, use a flathead screwdriver to make the necessary adjustments. To be sure that the notes stay in tune all the way up the fingerboard, your guitar has to be properly intonated. After checking a string's tuning, check it at the 12th fret. If the note is sharp, the saddle should be closer to the bridge. If it's flat, then the saddle should be closer to the nut. Make the adjustments with a flathead screwdriver using gradual increments. After retuning, check it at the 12th fret and make any additional adjustments as needed. After repeating this process for all the strings, your guitar will be fully set up.